High school students from across Indiana gathered at Purdue this weekend to show off their robotic inventions. News 18 Samantha Tiki reports how the first robotics competition combines the strength of the sport with the energy of science and technology. 39 high school robotics teams from around the state spent six weeks creating their robotic designs. And on Friday and Saturday, the teams gathered here at the Purdue Pro Rec to see if their designs had what it takes. It's a really high energy thing. There's a lot of people cheering in the stands. Students had to build a six feet tall, 120 pound robot that could perform an assigned task in time for the competition. The task this year requires robots to recycle litter and other trash. Maverick Boiler Robotics President Eric Jacoby says it's a sport for anyone. Anything that you can bring to the table will be welcome in a robotics team. There's a lot of different things you can do. There's really room for everybody. Robots score points by stacking totes on scoring platforms, capping those stacks with recycling containers, and properly disposing of pool noodles. And while the teams compete, they are gaining beneficial experience. The fact that they have access to scholarships, that they work side by side by these, next to these engineering mentors, they're really making a difference to these students' lives. It's getting them a chance to engage with these professionals in a way that they wouldn't have otherwise been able to and really get them excited about science and technology, engineering and math, and seeing that careers in these fields are available and they're really engaging and exciting. Teams from McCutcheon, Harrison, Jefferson, and West Lafayette High Schools were among the 30 competitors, but Jacoby says the competition is about much more than robots. It is about building robots, but it's more than that. It's about teaching students engineering and life skills and about inspiring the next generation of leaders and innovators. Teams from today's event will be ranked and could be eligible for the district championship at the beginning of April. Ten teams from that event will advance to the world championship in St. Louis. Reporting in West Lafayette, Samantha Tiki, News 18.